Hello everyone and welcome to the stream. It's a Friday, so it's magic time. Got some FNM tonight. Oh wait, no we don't. That's right, it's a new set. We have Kaldheim. I am so excited. Uh, I've been doing a little bit of drafting so far, and that's what we're going to do tonight is sealed and draft. Um, Kaldheim has been a lot of fun so far. It's it's a little bit zany. I have a draft that I started, and I'm two games away from 7 0 so we're going to go into that first. Um, before anything else, this deck is dumb. It is really dumb, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, we are also, of course, on that crypto watch right now. So if I start randomly talking about Doge, you know, it's, it's the biggest thing in the world right now. So it is what it is. Otherwise, yeah, uh, I will go ahead and show you this deck that we drafted. Um, so I got a couple bombs here. Uh, Coma is, of course, just real big and dumb and will win the game on its own. Uh, the other fun little combo that we have here, we ended up drafting a World Tree. We ended up getting three Glittering Frosts, a path to the World Tree. And then, of course, we're running a ton of Changelings. So we can get all of our changelings off the world tree. Getting to 11 mana, actually not that hard for this deck. Believe it or not, it likes to stall. Uh, then the other fun piece that we got, reflections when you're playing uh, changelings is just friggin' broken in draft. Let me tell you, you get this down, start doubling up all your spells pretty much, all your creatures. Then when you start cast casting a whole bunch of these guys, it's a lot of fun. Uh, casting him to make another one of these is a lot of fun. In fact, I think with the stuff that I drafted, I want to throw in one more creature. Uh, these Undersea Invaders are okay, but I'd rather just have another Changeling for maximum value. Uh, when I have been playing Reflections, I've been saying Rogue for the most part. Rogue or Spider if I have one in hand. Uh, it's, it's not bad getting two of these randomly. But yeah, let's take through its paces. See where this goes. The doge keeps going down. It's very sad boy. Very, very sad boy. Man, this week has been just the craziest friggin' week for everything. Between game and all the crypto market and everything just going insane. It has been a wild ride, to say the least. Fun to watch. All right, so we got three wins to get two with how this deck has performed for me. Okay, this hand is a little bit slow, but strategic plan helps get us out of it. Saw it coming is an okay counterspell. Um, people generally will play into the foretold since it's exiled face down. So that's usually not an issue. We just don't want to get land flooded here. Which we already are, unfortunately. But looks like our opponent's not on a super fast deck, so that makes me very happy. Uh, Path to the World Tree has actually been pretty amazing for me. Especially when you have ways to activate it, which is not hard with multiple glitterings and with the other World Tree itself. And then just the value you're getting out of it for that 7 mana, and you can do it at any time. It's really been a very good card. And, of course, we're going to continue thinning, too. One thing I do have to worry about is being killed by flyers. I don't have a ton of reach or flying in this deck. But hopefully we can get to the point where we can just stall. I have had to stall a few times while playing this so far. Cast spell from your hand. Okay, draw a card. Eh, it's okay, I guess. So they must be on the Fortel. Other thing we could have done there is played this tapped and then set up that, but I'd rather do it the next turn. Okay, he's foretelling two things. Gonna be able to draw things soon. Pillar is real good here. We need to get this down then. That's what this means. Uh, we need to set this on one of the other colors so we can get closer to the path. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to tap anything yet, but... Oh, man. 
Yeah, our opponent's just on mono flyers, so that actually might be an issue. We're gonna start taking beats pretty quickly. Okay, so this would copy... We can go ahead and copy this. Yeah, I think that's fine. Uh, we only have one snow source at the moment, though. That is the big issue. Six mana. Really, it's more like five because I want to hold on that. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll just go ahead and changeling. We're not going to copy the pillars just simply because we don't have the second frost source yet. Attack in just in case. I'm a little bit sad that we lost this. Because if we had not lost that, we'd be set up pretty good. Pretty darn close to triggering this path. So I want to kill off this uh, Watcher. Main thing we got to do is we just got to stall till we get to our bombs. That's pretty much how the deck works. Recluse is a pretty good draw. Seven mana to work with. I feel like I need to hold up the counter spell. Yeah. We want to hold up the counter spell and tap something down. does nothing but block at the moment, which is fine. For some reason, I was thinking he was a flyer. It's this card from the art when you're not looking it up close. Looks like it should have wings or something. See if he wants to suicide anything to the spider. Nope. Okay. Cool. We have held the line for long enough. That means we can start doing fun things. We have four, eight mana. Perfect. Ooh, that is beautiful. Um... Yeah, sure. Let's establish this. Get going. Make it extra scary after the fact. If I attack in with both of those, he can double block and kill something there, so we're not going to attack. But I am going to get a whole bunch of 4-4s four very shortly. Double block and kill? I mean, yeah, that could happen. Angel Pie, you must be done uh, talking about your your chicken uh, smoothies. I need you to post that recipe in chat. Um, that recipe sounds terrifying. Aww. That's not very nice of him. At least he's taking a hit off of that. And I know it's a Friday, but isn't it past your bedtime? No, no, I'm just kidding. That. So I was talking with Angel Pie earlier um, about a recipe for a smoothie that's basically... What was it, like... 
chicken and some other terrifying things inside this movie. I was just... Mm. It sounded scary. Not just gross, but like, actually frightening. Alright. You know, I was afraid of getting killed by all these flyers earlier, but now we're just... We're sitting pretty. We're sitting really pretty. Go over here and... Yeah, adult baby food just... Mm, just does not do it. Just does not do it. Okay, so he's going to untap that. I'm just going to tap it down again. Nice try, friend. Good talk. Good talk. Oh, Doe's just having a little bit of a rally. We're having a tiny rally. Ah. I guess this is the, uh, the magic slash crypto stream at this point. Okay, so yes, yeah, something foretold. I'm betting it's not a counter spell because there's only the one. Okay, okay, he's gonna try and kill me here. I don't think this is gonna work out for him. Um, so, do we want to go ahead and sacrifice one of those guys? Sure. We'll go ahead and tap there and sack there all these changelings just make the serpent extra extra spooky I mean if I want to I could just tap down like pretty much all of his things but we're just gonna be patient we're gonna hold up this counter spell keep making three threes overwhelm him over the long run um hmm. what do I want to kill I probably want to kill the thing that lets him draw cards. Or I could just kill this. Oh, man. <laughs> so, of course, uh, Twitch being what Twitch is, it auto-modded that. It said the word breast in chicken breast was too uh, sexually obscene. Good times. Good times. Okay, so if I sack one, sack two, I could just try and kill him here. Or I could just, like, attack with... Send the team. I think we send the team... Go ahead and tap down that ox. Yeah, you know that, that chicken breast, it's way too uh, suggestive. Gotta watch out for it. Okay, opponent, what you got? I got a counter spell for you. Man, this, this game turned around. I thought I was going to lose because he had early flyers. Yeah, chicken. Chicken chest. GG opponent. Alright, we are well on our way to that 7-0 with this stupid deck. Like, I honestly thought we were going to lose because he had early flyers. That one turn of holding off the spider and then throwing down the serpent. And the serpent with all the changelings is just so dumb. That, like, takes away any of the uh, disadvantage of that serp serpent because normally you have to wait till their upkeep to get a dude to start doing its thing. But it's like, no, you have a board full of changelings. Just sack them all. Um, yeah. Gotta check myself really quick to see if I want to change anything about this. Do I want to ran a boat? I don't think I want a boat. Don't really want any of these cards. Eh. Another rogue, but don't really need it. Yeah, no, I think the deck is still good as is. It is kind of hilarious. Let me see something here. Okay. Yep, we're going to run it back for the last game. Go for that 7-0. Oh, man. Oh, we got the rebound going on. We got the rebound. I 
I will say so far, I have only played probably four, five drafts. I don't know. I've just been run back to gems. Um, I'd say green is probably the best color. Hard to say. Oh my gosh, we have both of our bombs. This is really slow, but we have a form of snow here. We have the pillar, and these two cards are just so friggin' good. It's like, I would be super happy having a draft deck with either one of them. Well, this one's definitely more of a build around, but if you're built around like I am, it's real good. Uh, whereas this just wins games on its own, as you saw that last game. Man, the art, the art on the lands in this set is just so on point. Oh man, are we going to get run over by the cavalry? They're playing red-black, so they're probably pretty aggressive. So I need to get to four mana and start dropping these guys. Like, stat. Thankfully, we're getting to four mana. Like, if we survive to get to seven mana, basically I think we've won this one. Hard to say, though. They're going to run themselves. Ugh. Yeah, that hurts. I think we pretty much have to do this so we can block the 3 2. We're gonna be taking 6. Yeah, man, we might just be too slow. We might have spoke too soon. It's because I was bragging about the 7 0. If I draw black mana, that'd be pretty good. Because then we can get something with the pillar. Come on, you know you want to attack. Okay. Really, we just want to draw mana in general, but black would be really good. Eh, that's fine. So the question is, can I afford a turn? I don't think I can. I have to play this and tap down. Make sure we don't get screwed by the auto tapper. So ideally, I want to play this, then that, and get the triggers, but no such luck. If we draw one of our glitterings, we get to binding. Or play Herald, either way. Herald's, I'm mainly playing him in here because, oh, four damage, okay. I'm mainly playing Herald in here because he can get any of my changelings. Let's see how many creatures you want to lose here. Ooh, he wants to lose them all. Okay. Okay. That's annoying. So we need to draw... Not that... Dang. We didn't get there. One man off. Let's see what he does. There's no reason for my opponent to play safe here. Oh, yeah, that just does it regardless. GG. That's okay. I'll take seven and one. Let's go for it. Seven and one. Six and one, sorry. I can't math, it's fine. Mathing is a thing. I'm not awake, it's late enough for me. I haven't been sleeping the last couple nights.
All right, anytime now. Okay, yeah, this hand's definitely better than that last one. So we at least have something we can do to interact earlier. Like, this is slow pseudo-removal. It's kind of bad, but... Get to foretell this on two. Undersea Invader probably won't do anything. Undersea Invader's not great, if I'm being honest. But, you know, we deal with what we deal with. Hola. But under the sea, under the sea indeed. Actually, this, this game board is very uh, kind of frozen-ish right now. This whole set... We are going for, like, a Nordic theme, but yeah, this this game board is very Frozen-ish. So do I want to put that down, or do I want to try and get to this guy quicker? Let's let's actually go for the turn four reflections, just because we can start doing stupid, stupid stuff after that. The Draugr. He's not going to pump it, so he wants to cast something. That's fine. The name of the game is Survive. Survive in advance. Um, we want to say Elf this time, I guess? We could say Rogue. No, I want to say Elf. Because next, next turn we get to play this and this. Play the Elf first, get two of them. Play this, get two of them. Scries, get the, uh, the counters. Just gotta take this hit. kind of an annoying boast. Uh, yep. Yeah. Just like we drew it up. Exactly like we drew it up. This card is so dumb. Um, no, we, we don't need another one of those. We'll take that, though. Now we have really good blockers, too. Yeah, I'm feeling good about this. Play the frost, play the bears next turn. Or play the mist and hold up the saw it coming. Maybe that's the smarter thing to do. Gonna make me double block that that's fine question is what do we double block it with or do we just single block it hmm or do we just take the hit I'm tempted to just take the hit okay, I'm gonna take the hit There's no way he just kills us now. Okay, so technically we have five, six, seven mana. More if we do it this way. We're gonna have to tap those guys, which is fine. Uh, one, two, three. Go ahead and play that there. And then I think we're going to play that, and then we have this open. So I mainly want to be able to keep this up. So I have a feeling one of the foretell spells is either 
Okay, so we got that, and I have a feeling the other one is probably either a kill spell or a pump spell. So we're gonna let him do this, double block, and counter whatever he plays. And just hope he doesn't have two spells to take care of it. Okay, at this point it's looking pretty good again. Opponent is definitely running out of cards to play, so we're pretty happy about that. Don't want to just go on the offensive. Do that pump once? Yeah, sure. Next turn, we get a bunch of biggins coming across. Boast to tap a thing, okay. It's vaguely annoying. And it's really fun. If I had called Rogue on this instead of Elf, flashing in two. Okay, that's fine. We get to basically just kill that right away. Yeah, we do kill that right away. Laser beams. GG opponent. Alright, we got that final victory. I'm happy. Didn't go undefeated with this deck, but it was pretty darn close. Okay, so, so I know Under the Sea, I know I randomly brought up Frozen earlier, but new... Um, oh, yeah, we did get seven wins. Seven one, not bad. Uh, the, the new Disney movie coming out looks real, real good. If you haven't gotten a chance to watch the trailer, watch it. What's it called? Is it called Ayara? No. Um, hmm. Do, 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 do. What is the name of that movie? Rhea and the Last Dragon. It looks really good. It looks like one of the more adult Disney movies that we've had in a while. But I'm perfectly fine with that. Kind of more more along the line of uh, Big Hero 6. Dream Devourer. This could be good. This Cthulhu-ass looking mother. Let's open the things. That's a fun card. That's a real fun card. Definitely build around. Gotta have that snow to get the full effect. Cosmos Charger. Okay, first time I've seen this one. Mills. Okay. Yeah. That's not bad. It's kind of like a weird version of Ashiok. Weird Ashiok Saga. Okay, okay. We'll take wild cards. We'll definitely take wild cards. We need more. New set release. We always need more wild cards. Alright, it is sealed time. I have this one token here. Let's go ahead and use it. 
Let's see what we get. Hopefully, we get some gods. Alrighty. So, we got one god. That's a pretty good one. We got the squirrel. The squirrel is hilarious. Uh, personally, I don't know if the squirrel ever actually does anything, though. Tundra Fumeral. That's not bad. That's not bad. And the dragon is real good. Okay. So we might be going some corn, some kind of a black red deck or something. We'll we'll see. We'll see what the rest of this looks like. So what do we have for playables? Um, first of all, I want to check my non. So we got that duder. He is not great. I don't think we're gonna have enough equipment ever. Trickster God heist. That's interesting. Huh, that's an interesting card. I kind of like that design space. We have a mill card. We have the newest uh, stacks piece, which is always fun, but not useful for us. Immerstrom. So we got some decent lands here. We got Harold, Harold himself. Uh, and Carter's Vicious Return. Okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. So let's go back through here and actually so see what we have. Uh, white. Nothing is jumping out at me. Nothing is overly fun in white. I think white is probably the worst color in this so far. At least from my perspective. Blue, we got some removal right there. Got some bounce. Disdainful strokes never going to get played. Okay, so blue is not wonderful. Black, on the other hand, let's see what we got for black. Powers three are greater, so that's a bear. Demonic gifts is fine. The helm is fine. That's fine too. A whole bunch of just fine things. Uh, yeah, removal. We'll always take removal. Got some more mill. Got our god of death. Got decent snow. The question is, I don't know if we're going to have enough snow permanence, but... We'll try. Uh, Shadow Sage is definitely best if you have Elves and Changelings. Ooh, we have a couple Frostbites. That's good. The Berserkers. Yeah, so I think we're just going straight up red-black. Maybe splash a little bit of green. Because if we splash green, we can splash for these guys. But I think it might just be better in this case just to go straight up red-black. Let's see what we got here. Bear's fine. Uh, I don't think Mill's really going to come in to play at all here. I like that one. Don't think that's going to do much, but, you know, we'll take it anyways. This is good for the long. It's not great otherwise, but sometimes you just get into that board state stall. Boast ability. Okay. Tibalt's trickery is funny. I don't know if it really does much, but we'll try it. Hammer's pretty good. Plus three, plus own trample. Random treachery effect. So we got some decent removal. That is the one nice thing going here. Uh, we're going to be heavily reliant on this dragon. And I don't think we're ever going to hit 7 mana for that. Like, ever. Go ahead and grab that. And maybe this one. I don't think this is good enough for us. We don't really care about the lands coming in tapped or untapped either. So that's not going to do enough in the long run. We have two snow lands that we have access to. Okay. So we have 16 creatures. We want to creep our creature count up fairly high. Uh, shackles could be okay. The mob is pretty expensive. Definitely want to go down to 16 lands. So we're going to actually cut there. Do we cut the mob? Eh, it's a 5 4 5. That's not terrible.
we get to foretell this so we can cast down three and so it's basically it's still four mana but you can cast on turn three and get four two over eh, it's not the worst but it's not the best see how much in the way of like clerics and that kind of stuff we have to make that guy work Berserker, Helm. Definitely cut the trickery. It's not going to do anywhere near enough. Kind of want to cut. Yeah, let's cut the longboat. Hmm. Throne of Death is going to be interesting for us. Like, you want to play him on his front side, but I think the back side in the long run is going to be better. His front side just dies to pretty much everything. Eh, yeah, let's take care of the shackles, get rid of that. Try it out this way. I'm not too huge on this pool. I don't think it's great. Um... I mean, Dragon's okay. It's not really a bomb. It's just a decent beater. The God's not really a bomb either, I don't think. I don't think it's one of the better gods, but I haven't played with it yet, so I could be wrong. I don't think this thing's power is ever going to be three or greater, unfortunately, so it's just a grizzly bear. Oh no, I didn't add my land in. Oops. So we'll definitely change that between games because we have two land to add in. And one of them is going to up our snow count, which we need for a couple things. Each player discards a card, so we can discard the dragon if we need to. Ooh, that Doge Rally. It's almost back up to four. Hell yeah. playing that long long game must hold the meme coin always hold the meme coin all right so that thing's better than my thing that's unfortunate i think we're going to be doing this to just kill that because i don't want that thing staying alive That's also really bad for us, though. Okay. He doesn't have any snow land right now, though. So let's see what he does. Like, I want to kill this thing eventually, but he doesn't have any snow mana to actually, like, take advantage of it yet. So, we'll see. Oh, no. He has the squirrel, too. Oh, jeez. That, that's incredibly bad for us. Okay. It's indestructible. Man, that's, that's incredibly bad for us. Wow, okay. So he's going to be drawing two more cards? Oh man, that's so bad for us. Force him to attack in there. Can't block alone, which is pretty useless.
Next turn we're going to be able to Dragon into Fearless and probably Tundra. Hey, how's it going? Junior, are are you on this uh this game or this this Doge train yet? Are you taking part in this week's insanity? So it has been a fascinating thing to watch. I'm definitely losing my mind a little bit because I'm not sleeping as a result, but you know, that's half the fun. All right, he is gonna ambush me with something here. Man, so, so I end up having this squirrel in my uh, sealed pool and I was totally just saying, oh yeah, the squirrel's never gonna do anything. And then what does my opponent do? On the turn that I get rid of my one creature, he drops this down and then draws three cards. And I'm like, oh god. He's dropped, drawn five cards off this stupid thing already. Like, it's it's a 1-1 one, one indestructible that has to attack. It's a 1-1 one, one for four, but... Whatevs, whatevs. Yeah, that's some real socks indeed. No! No, 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 no. Oh, oh. Oh, he just made it so I don't get my Durgan. Oh. Well played, opponent. Well played. I have I have been outplayed pretty badly this game. Oh, uh, God, why? Yeah, I'm just... Good game. I've... I've been demoralized. I've been demoralized. Then again, nothing will ever feel as good as that draft deck that I just went 7-1 with that was uh, green-blue changelings doing really, really dumb things. So much fun. Whereas this deck's just like, eh, it's black-red, whatever. See, I don't know, with, with draft so far, I've actually been really enjoying draft. Sealed, sealed is another thing, but then again, this is the first time I've sealed, and this pool is, this pool is interesting. It's not the greatest. Like I got the dragon. I got some okay removal, but I don't know. I'm I'm not huge on the uh, super aggressive aggressive style here. I definitely am more of a a fan of the like kind of little bit rampy strategy that you get. A deck that gets to play multiple uh, glittering frost. Heck yeah. Um, yes, actually, there are eight player drafts now. They've been around for a little while. So you have the traditional drafts, and some of the premieres are usually live people. And then there are bot draft queues that come up every now and then. It actually tends to be more live people than it is bot drafts at this point. Ooh, this hand is real slow. We'll keep. Gotta love them Godzilla cards. But now instead of Godzilla, we just have Bob Ross. Gotta get those Bob Ross cards. Um, this card's expensive and bad. We're going to hold. Hold the line. Yep, yep. Boast, boast and make some berserkers, my friend. You do you. Yeah, this set definitely has a lot of individually powerful cards. Uh, a lot of big, bomby, splashy kind of things. I don't know how it... I don't know what kind of effect it's going to have on, like, standard formats or any of the, the other Eternals. But... It should be interesting, to say the least. Um, oh jeez. Big dragon thing. Dragon vampire. Tapped, exile, one turn card. Sacrifice another creature. Gains indestructible. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, I have a feeling I'm gonna get run over here. But that's fine. Take this deck to a quick 0-3. You know, the more that I look at this board, the more I'm having frozen flashbacks. Okay. That thing gets bigger. Yeah, I can't wait to start playing around with and building uh, some of the new big splashy things. Uh, the World Tree, of course. Some of the other gods are just looking real, real juicy. I mean, the cold actually bothers you all the time, Angel Pie. I don't know what you're talking about. You are not a fan of the cold. Don't deny it. I know, I know the cold bothers you. This big burly zombie berserker. All right. Ouch, my face. Here's six damage. Oh, very nice. My <sighs> narwhal onesie. Okay, I'm just dead here. Doesn't matter. Uh, GG. My my big purchase of of late to upgrade my computer. Really, really exciting purchase here. Um, we got an Amazon Basics uh, mail to mail 3.5 millimeter, and we got a couple uh, quarter inch adapters. That's that's my big purchase. Um, going to be rerouting some sound through an actual amp box so I can have two headsets going. The fun times. Come on, server. Okay, let's go for a third loss. Narwhal onesie does sound comfy, I will say. And it's, like, cold enough in this room right now. And I made the mistake of wearing shorts. So it's like, I I'm kind of cold. The computer isn't warming up the room nearly enough right now. Hasn't been on enough hours. Alright, Doge, keep doing your thing. We're gaining. Yeah, eventually. Well, no, I need to. I need to turn on the uh, turn on the PS4. Also, that'll really, really warm things up. So I think my my base PS4 puts on. Why is he saying red? I'm confused. Oh, on that. Uh, I think my base PS4 puts off more heat than than my computer does at this point. This card I really, really like for limited. It's just an 0-4 for 2 that you can just use to yeet something later. Really good early blocker. And it's a cleric, too, so it has random synergies there. Oh, we're, we've got the puppers. I don't want to kill the puppers, but I might have to kill the puppers. I don't like killing puppers. Much fearless. Much fearless. Much much wolf and i can't kill the puppers right now because i mean it's it's doge time we can't kill the puppers i guess we'll just have to infinitely block it right this other thing though has to die with a fire
I mean, that was totally my choice to wear shorts out to the gorge uh, when it was, like, in the upper 30s. It was fine. Every Everything was fine. Go, my Durgan. Do I want to foretell that? No, I think we're gonna keep up this frostbite. Man, I wish this just said like target instead of creature or planeswalker. I wish this card could go face. Um Huh. Huh. That's not nice. It's not nice at all. Um um, yeah, I guess my Durgan is dying. I will say that ice cream at Sugar Pine was a lot better this time around, too. If you live in the Portland area, Sugar Pine Drive-In out in Troutdale really good a little bit expensive and a little bit crazy the number of people that are there right now Come on, Doge, get back to four. You know you can do it. The little, the little stonk that could. Alrighty. Let's see what we got going on here. Take that frostbite. Hopefully he wastes a pump spell here. I want him to waste a pump spell. Oh yeah, it's it's not a stock, but it's definitely a stonk though. Let's be honest. Just for the memes. You got to remember, Doge was created here in, in what like Beaverton, which makes it even better. Alrighty. Want to make a dwarf? Or do we want this other thing? Um. So we can play that and equip it, or we could just make a dwarf. Let's just make a dwarf, I guess. It's not, like, the best, but... Just casual 5-1 trample. It'll be dead soon. Okay, so this Fertel card is definitely most likely the plus four plus four. Digging this new music too. It's pretty good. <clears throat> Okay, so he's going to be able to start making his things a little bit bigger. Not the end of the world. Oh, it was the fight one. Okay. Fight one's not bad. Gifts is a pretty good draw. Huh. Do I just go ahead and kill off the puppers? I think we are going to kill off the puppers. Oh, except for that doesn't even work because he sacks himself and he's the only snow permanent. Derp. We're, we're making problems for myself here. That's fine. We'll survive this. 
see we're just we're playing badly as I said it's all fine these things are fine we don't want to be playing this deck anymore anyway so I'm uh purposeful play mistakes right right isn't that how that works maybe no no come at me bro oh no he's only saying the puppers This boastful puppers will be my downfall. There's... Oh, there's the one we needed. Come on, Doge. You're so close to four. You can do it. Oh man, Junior, I just started playing Ghost of Tsushima. It's real good. The only problem is I decided to do it for a uh, stream game, so now I can only really play it once a week, or at least I'm only going to go through the main story content on stream. I'll do a whole bunch of the side quest stuff on my own, but I'm really enjoying it so far. And it is, as one would expect, it is a gorgeous looking game. Like, even on a stock PS3 or PS4, it still looks really good. Oh, yeah. Last of Us 2 is so good. It is so good. It is... It's real good, but it's real hard. I mean, it's such an emotional drain the entire time you're playing it. But, heck, I've played through it twice now since it came out. So, one of those times was for stream and I somehow made it through. <laughs> Like, I acknowledge that game has a lot of problems, but for what it is, it's just very, very, very good. Man, I don't know if I can get through two pups. That's unfortunate. Not even attacking. Okay. Oh, got a way to turn on that one. Well, like, that game is actively trying to make it so you're not enjoying it. Um, just with what's going on and how, like, dark it is and just, I don't know, it's, it's difficult. But from, like, a gameplay and mechanics standpoint, it is so solid. From a gameplay and mechanics standpoint, it's one of the best, like, third-person stealth-ish games that you'll play. Okay. Can't block alone, that's fine. Play the Raider, something else. I feel like we have to play the Hulk, though. And that sets up better for next turn. The Raider just dies instantly to the first strike. Which is a problem. It's definitely a problem. So he gets to pump once. And we can hope he doesn't have... Well, if he has a pump spell, I'm dead if he pumps either way, so... So if he has a pump spell and we don't block, we're just dead. If he has a pump spell, we double block, we get blown out. I'm trying to think if there's anything in green right now that gives him indestructible. I don't think there is. Hopefully he has nothing, though, and he's losing his puppers. That is the hope. Okay, cool. Hmm. Packmate's pretty good here. 
Uh, heroic intervention thankfully isn't in this uh, draft environment. Ooh. Okay. But that leaves us up for lethal. So if I equip that, I attack in. Uh, heroic intervention should always be available. So I can play this, play that. That's two for wanting myself. Yeah, it would be very, very thematic with the set. Huh. What do we do here? That was a mistake. That's okay, we have enough mana. So I'm not going to discard a card. And then we are actually going to re-equip here. Just because that can kill the, uh, the pack mate. Oh man, the rally is really happening. We're up at four again. Nope. GG opponent. That's okay. It's time to get over to the good stuff anyway. Let's draft. Drafting is so much more fun. So... After going 7-1 and one with the draft pool, we went 0-3 with a nice sealed pool. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. And that time we were neither lucky nor good. But that's okay, we get some packs here. We'll hold those off till the end. This is true. I'm not very good at staying humble. As like something I'm not good at. So I have one left last token here before we start going back to gems as I said we are on actual uh, human being drafts which is so much better it makes it so not every single draft is the exact same thing whereas generally against the CPUs you know exactly what to force okay what do we have here if giant source deals double that damage okay we could try and make giants that could be kind of fun And it's only giant sources I control. Um, this is a decent changeling. I do kind of really like the changeling deck. I haven't tried the blue red giant deck yet though, so I could try and force that. And there's nothing else really that's talking to me here, so I think we're gonna go with that guy. I mean, he just seems pretty good. Um, Furnace of Wrath for all giants. And the cool thing is we have some really good giants in standard right now, so I could see, like, some kind of um, either red, white, blue, or just blue, red giants, something like that, being really good. Oh, speaking of giants, the runes okay, but I think we want to go for the invasion if we're going to go forcing giants. The bears um, of Lit Yara, I had one of those in that clone deck, and it did really good. So we're going to be seeing probably one of these giant wizards come back on the turnaround. This yeti is really good, and for a common, you don't see it very often. I have noticed, but we're just going to go all in on giants. We're going to force giants from the get-go. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm going to need these. So I'm definitely in rare draft mode because I'm going to need these for my set. And I feel like it's just worth it. Like, this is technically a giant... Hmm. I'm going to see more of these. I'm not going to see more of these. We're, we're rare drafting, friends. It's fine. Sometimes you got to do that when a set just comes out. You don't have infinite funds here. Man, I'm loving the art on some of these cards. I mean, the, the art on this set in general is just super solid across the way. Especially on the lands, though. On all the various realm lands, they're very good. On the snow-covered lands, they're real good. Okay, we got a giant. Uh, Raven form is decent removal for blue. But I think we want to stay on the giant train. Eh, even though Raven form is decent. Artifact or creature, so it gets rid of half of the equipment. 
well, all the equipment. Uh, one for ones, though, don't seem quite as good. We're just going to keep going Giants. If I'm forcing it, I'm forcing it. Okay, we got really good land here. I mean, look at the art on that. That is so good. All the icebergs down below. Uh, Depart the Realms is going to be okay. The Augury Raven is decent. It's a 4 mana 3-3 three, three flyer, which is always good stat-wise. Man, we have the Depart the Realm. Man, I want the fixing. Like, these these lands are good enough in here, especially because of the fact that there's snow land to take fairly high in the draft. Just because snow matters is really... Payoff-wise, the payoffs are real good. They're not quite as good in red and blue, but... We'll see how it goes. Speaking of, Frostbite's really good. That's probably what we're going to take. Helm's not good enough. I really like Seize the Spoils. I, I like having the upside of getting the extra treasure off of that. Um, Run Aground is pretty good, but it's also expensive. I think we're just going to take the Frostbite, though. Just because it's super, super good. If we can get up to... Uh, a little bit of critical mass there. Dual strike is okay, depending on what you have. The berserker, I think, is just better. I mean, look at look at the art on that. Just the color palette and everything. I just, oh. Everything just top-notch in this set. Um, I think the berserker makes the most sense. Just keep it going. We're being cut off on blue pretty hard. We haven't really seen a lot of good blue, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. So ideally, I think we go turn two this, turn three something else, turn four, play into an invader. Speak of the devil, there's an invader right there. But there's also a frostbite. I think this is so invaders are only okay but i think this is like the one unique way that an invader's good is if you're going all giants but frostbite is really good and we gotta take it there's another giant that's another snow creature which is good it's a good tempo one too just getting a 4 4 body and being able to freeze something is really good for 5 mana. Nothing we want here, so we might as well take the uncommon. I mean, look at look at that friggin' art. So good. It's just so incredibly metal. So far outside the bearer, we're kind of lacking in bombs, but that is the way of it sometimes. Definitely take the draw spell. Okay. We can go dwarf travel. I don't think we want to, but we could. Seize the spoils. Another berserker. I think we'll end up taking this anyway, because we do have a couple dwarves in this color. Don't we? No? No? No, we don't. Hmm. It is kind of a ramp, though, technically. But we can always take the rune, which gives us haste and draws us a card. Or we can go really brazen and just get snow-covered land. Hmm. Magda or the rune. Ramp, draw a card. Ramp, draw a card. Um, huh. We'll just take the Magda. Um, I just have a, a, a Mamba tournament edition. One of the old wired razors. It works just fine for me.
really big giant. That thing is probably going to wheel around. I think we want to take the draw here. I know Razor products aren't, like, as good... Or they're not they're not a great uh, value proposition for the money they cost, but I still really enjoy them. So I have I have the the Mamba Tournament Edition, then I have uh, the Ornata for my my keyboard. So we got we got that nice you know purple on purple action going on here. In fact, let me uh, check something out here. Oh no, I already took that capture away. Never mind. JK. JK lol. Have to do it for another stream. Um, Do we want the Yeti? We only have the one there. I kind of like the Raven Wings to be able to fly over, but at the same time, that's another giant. I used to be, but I don't, I know this may sound crazy, but I actually prefer using a pad for first person shooters nowadays, just because I've gotten so used to uh, everything from the standpoint of, you know, FPSs on consoles. I've become one of those. Like, I mean, I'd still prefer to play like Warzone on an actual mouse, but... Yeah, I know, I know. Um, I think I think what happened was the game that kind of switched me over was Killzone. Like, Killzone 2 and Killzone 3 on PS3. And it's because they moved so slowly and so heavily. But at the same time, I really kind of like that. And so it forced me to really get good using a, uh, using a pad. And I've just, I've enjoyed the feel ever since. Do I want to take a third one of those? Or do we want to start going? Nah. It's giant time. Let's start picking up the, the big big old giants. We want the reinforcements. The puppers. Oh, heck yeah. Snow-covered land. Yeah, I actually got... Uh, Razor Raiju. I really like this thing. I had to replace my PS4 controller and ended up getting one of these and yeah, it's it feels really nice. It has that nice heft to it, a couple back triggers. It was a hell of a lot cheaper than a scuff. I was looking at scuff controllers, but I just I couldn't afford that like two hundred dollars for a controller. That just wasn't happening. Yeah, no, I used to play a whole lot, whole lot of FPSs when I was a kid and younger. Used to play a lot of Quake. And I mean, they're a couple hundred bucks. That that price tag on those things is just so prohibitive. Personally, I just want to wait and get that PS5 and get that PS5 controller that I've heard amazing things about. I mean, the haptics on that thing, I cannot wait. Yeah, I'm, I've am i enjoyed quite a bit of Apex. Uh, I don't have it installed right now, but when that first came out, I played it a lot. And I played it primarily on PS4. Um, as I said, I really just enjoyed it on there. I, I love the movement in that game. Especially there are a couple different characters like Pathfinder that... You just, you get flying around that map. Get absolutely flying. It's actually primarily a lifeline player, though, weirdly enough. So I prefer being a little bit more of a support as opposed to a lead in that. Yeah, I can understand how you, you'd think it's settling, you know. It's understandable. Why would they need to nerf Lifeline? Lifeline was never, like, crazy at all. Like, Lifeline was, was like, the most basic of the characters, I thought. 
Oh man, a second bears. Do we want to crush? No, not really. Ooh, the ice shaper is really fun, but we don't want to play that. It's hilarious that a null is back. It's like not an artifact set, and a null comes back. Really, I guess I I don't remember it being that busted, but then again, it's been a while since I played. Oh, yeah, I could see that being a problem. I could definitely see that being a problem. We've got another dwarf. Okay, we that dwarf works with our Magda. Uh, he's interesting. Man, so they just... They just put a tutor on a creature, and all it has to do is attack, and it has death touch. That is so dumb. I guess we want the old boaster? Yeah, let's take the boaster. Snow and zombie creatures. A lot of really fun lord effects in this set. It's time for us... Oh no, we already have two of those. Two of those is already more than we want to be playing. Um, I guess we're going to take Strategic. It's not terrible. Booyah, take another Invasion. We'll very gladly take that. So that means we should pretty consistently have an Invasion. Be able to see it in most games. That makes me happy. Because, I mean, if it's just Scry 2, draw a card for 2 mana, then I'm perfectly happy with that. That's like baseline, but being able to do the other things. We should dealt damage to a creature instead of an opponent, but you know. Beggars can't be choosers. Buying the monster is decent blue removal. And we are... Oh, that could be fun with how big our things are. But I think we want the raven form. Or possibly I should have taken the kite. Darn. I should have taken the kite. Another one of those might come around. Sometimes I choose things too quickly. Okay, raven's wings. That's why I meant not kite, but the wings. Just because it's really nice to be able to suddenly give something huge flying. I really like this as a one of. Alright, so we got some giant synergies. We're going to be a little bit on the slow end. But I think that's fine for the most part. Frostpire is fine. How is that not a snow land? Guess we're probably going to say it's because of the lava, but it just seems like it should be a snow land. Do I care about any of these? Are any of these going to make my deck? I don't think they are. Berserker's fine. You can actually play it. We do have the Magda. The cool thing is, if we ever get to five treasures, we can just, like, sack it and go get the wings. It's an actual thing. Depart the realm is playable. Man, so with all this, like, Norse mythology stuff and the Raiden, or the Raven form and the Odins and all that stuff, I just started watching season two of American Gods. And, uh, the first episode where you see all the gods together in the, like, little pantheon thing they've, they've created, 
and you just have Ian McShane as Odin there with only one eye, and oh, it's, it's so good. I do like me some Ian McShane. He just always eats up the scenery. <clears throat> Maybe try one of those for now. Uh, dwarf, dwarf, dwarf. You're not a dwarf at all. That makes dwarves. That's troll. Throw that in there. Throw those in there. Where are we looking? We're at 45. Why would you do that to yourself? I say, having been like 200 episodes into that show. <laughs> Yeah, One Piece is fine. It's fun. It's fun. But also, why would you do that to yourself? I guess, like, if there's any time to start watching One Piece, it's during this pandemic when people have extra time. Oh, and it, it definitely gets better as it gets going, too. Gets a lot better over time. Some of the first areas are kind of, eh, kind of iffy. Um, once you get to the Alabasta arc, that one's pretty good. I'm not too much further than that. At at one point, there's a pirate building a ship up on top of a mountain, and not to sail the ship, but to use the ship as his coffin, because why not? Yeah, there's some weird characters. Okay, go to 16 lands. We'll cut and cut. Sure. Add that, add that. Let's see how this pile goes. <clears throat> yeah, because once you start getting onto some of the, the Grand Line stuff and you start getting into... The, some of the warlords showing up. Have you met Crocodile yet? This crocodile's a lot of fun. Okay, uh, this hand is expensive as fuck, but you know, we're just gonna hope not to get run over. Uh, that's kind of kind of be the theme of the day for this deck is expensive without any real. I mean, we've we've got some some fake ramp in here. Oh, speaking of fake ramp, there's our fake ramp. Except for he will block the crap out of it with this Battlefield Raptor. So I'm tempted to play this, attack with it, just so I can play into this. Uh, okay, okay. Man, this is the biggest power creep of any card in this set. I mean, I'm only slightly joking, but a 1-2 first strike flyer for 1. It's like infinitely better than Stormcrow. Infinitely, infinitely better than a Stormcrow. Okay. So I play the Berserker. Attack with both? Yeah, that seems fine. I'm only going to lose one of them. I'm going to make two treasure. And then next turn, we get to play the Cinderheart Giant? Okay, sure. Turn four, seven, six, Trampler. Aww. We aren't going to get that turn four. And I, I love that they use grumpy snails as telephones. Uh, sure. Do I want to do that? No. No, I don't want to do that. We can do that instant speed if we have to. Ooh, look at my friend getting frisky here. Oh, wow. Okay. My opponent, my opponent, my opponent. That might have been a problem. Then, depending on what he plays here, he's just dead on this next turn. Sweet. 
Oh, yeah. And he knows it. Yeah, at some point I need to go back to One Piece because there are definitely a whole lot more episodes that I have not seen. Then again, when you have an anime that has like, what, 800, 900 episodes, something insane like that. And the nice thing, too, is the uh, character development with some of that main cast actually really goes real, real far. Like, Zoro's story gets really, really interesting. And I've only seen a portion of it. Pretty soon you'll get Tony Chopper in the party. Establish board presence. Oh, the bear's not doing anything when I click on it. it. Makes me sad. Alrighty, let's attack and see what he does. I think we just have to get this down. As much fun as it be to start using this ability, I think it's more important that we just throw big things down and go face. We have plenty of card draw for when we run out. And I want to keep hitting land, because if I can get this on curve, then I'm feeling pretty good. The lantern, okay. So he's going to be able to get me on a clock. That's okay, because we have him on a pretty big clock. Do we want to discard a card? Nah, let's just lose three for now. Pretty perfect. Then we hold up for that, or do we do... Let's... Uh, it's hard. So I'm not sure if I want to attempt to keep this guy. I think I'll attempt to keep that guy. And if we can just keep drawing cards, that's fine. So that'll keep us from dying to this thing. I almost would play that on its front end, but... Just because Turgrid is so good on her own. Okay. Okay. I see what we're doing here, deck. Sounds good to me. Tempo is the name of the game. Opponent, I think you're in trouble.
see if we can get a land here. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Everything is coming up Millhouse. And our opponent doesn't have enough land to really double spell here, so. And if they do, he just has to block regardless of what happens. Whereas I get to double spell all I want. Oh yeah, that is not the way to stay alive, opponent. That is definitely not the way. Um, do I sacrifice the treasure? Do that into that, into that. I'll lose three life, that's fine. Ooh, getting that last little rank up because the uh, ladder resets tomorrow. Get a little bit better rewards when that happens. Didn't even start doing any laddering on this season for uh, Limited until literally this week when this set dropped. So I tend to only play Limited when the set first comes out. So that is by far the best way to get new cards. So if you can grind the limited cues and go semi-infinite, you can just open up a whole bunch of cards along the way. Definitely takes the most time, but, you know, it's worth it. Worth the investment. Um, this hand's a little bit awkward, but sure, we'll keep it. We just need one land. Preferably a blue land, but... We have things to do. If I didn't have to seize the spoils, I probably would have mulliganed this hand. But this kind of fixes a lot of our draws, assuming we get that one land. Speaking of, he's got those nice APAC lands. Oh, we didn't get that one land. Well, that's dying. Horrible death. Our hand just got a lot more awkward. So we're going to be, eventually when we get that third land, seizing, uh, getting rid of this invader. We're not a third land. You're not a third land either. What is going on here, deck? not a land either. Okay, we are officially too far behind. Good game, opponent. Variance one out. One of those situations where there's just literally nothing that can be done. Ah, uh, the arena shuffler. Blame it on all my life's problems. Oh, wait. Okay, continue this on. Giants will have their day. Yeah, this hand's much better. We can actually play things. We have a little bit of a curve going on here. I do have to say, so far this draft environment, just having all the changeling stuff really reminds me of um, Lorwyn block. And that was also another really, really fun draft environment. But I think they've gone even heavier into the changeling synergies and like just the tribal synergies in general in this. And it really has some fun payoffs. I'm like always super happy when they go back to that mechanic. Loved it in Modern Horizons, loved it in original Lorwyn block. 
and I'm really liking it so far. Let's see, has our opponent fallen asleep at their keyboard? It's a distinct possibility. Opponent? Opponent. Hello? Hello. And this bear doesn't even react. That's sad. Okay, our opponent's there. That's a good sign. real tempting. Do we go for the tempo play already? Don't really get to capitalize off it, unfortunately. I think I'll just frostbite. And then I can tempo out whatever else he plays next. It's too early. We don't really have enough damage for it to make a major impact on the board, but it lets us boast next turn. Sadly, we don't have a snow source yet to uh, make this guy better. Oh, that's not very nice. Um. Yeah, no. That was, that was not very nice at all. Well, hopefully he just lets this thing sit here. I mean, there's no way in hell he will, but you never know. Crazier things have happened. The fact they just used this is a pretty good sign, but... Like, that's a decent murder variant. Whenever an attacking creature dies... So we can seize the spoils into that. Yeah, I think that's worth it. There's the field. Opponent controls attack. Okay. It's only until the next turn, too. Let's go ahead and ditch that. I mean, you, you told me I had to attack opponent. Okay, just play it out again. Play it out again, please. Just do it. I know you want to. Beautiful. Beautiful. Sadly, no snow for this, but hey, we'll take it. Do you want to take another six? Probably don't want to take six, would be my guess. There you go. Let's see if he wants to go two for one, I guess.
interesting design space on this card. So it's basically a goad commander that punishes when things die. So this was very much made for multiplayer, not for 60 card environments. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I guess technically you get demon tribal, berserker tribal. Not great. I'm a little bit sad, so they went with Berserkers over Vikings for this set. Berserker is basically their version of Viking. Come on, friend, what you doing? You should definitely attack me. Nothing wrong could go, or nothing bad could go on. Nothing wrong would ever happen. Definitely just tack. Never defend. That's gone. Okay, okay. Okay. Under the sea to do to do. Under the sea to do to do. Under the sea. Ah, he's double. Okay. Yeah, I think that's fine. They'll allow us to do two damage. gets us another giant on the board it only does four damage with the uh, calamity but better than nothing check for the hour uh okay only slightly above three cents good to know it's continuing its precipitous fall i think we hit our height when it was about eight cents two days ago i guess wait it's friday no that was crap that was a day ago i'm losing tracks of time here Oh, he had the removal. That's not nice. Hopefully we draw into our 7-drop giant randomly. That'd be nice. Because otherwise we're kind of running out of gas here. Come on, giants. Do your thing. Wow, our opponent has infinite removal. I guess that's probably to be expected. They are in the best colors for removal by far. <clears throat> oh yeah, he was able to get back with that. I'm like, why does he have another one of those? Uh, so I have to attack this turn, so I guess we're gonna do this for sure. We're forced to attack.
That's an okay draw. We can make that work. Hopefully the nice thing is, is we do have quite a few more draw spells than our opponent. So we should get into one of those eventually. Oh, uh, that's annoying. That being his last card is pretty good for him. And now we are both just basically in top deck mode. Uh, okay. Yep, that's fine. I don't mind getting rid of that land. So I've been holding on to that, trying to bait it. Okay, unfortunately we can't really attack here. And we're going to start taking two. Well, our opponent is top decking a whole lot better than we are. Oh, infinitely better. Good game, opponent. Time to run it back. Okay, this hand is awkward, but I think it's keepable. We just need one blue mana. Then again, we just needed one mana in general last time. Not the last game, but the game before. Hey, we got there. Um, is there any real reason for me to do that? No, no, there isn't. Could have foretold this, though. You live, you learn. We take one. Okay, so if we bounce that, we can then also play that, or we can just play this first and see what happens. I think I just start swinging. He's a little bit... Huh. Temptation. Yeah, I think I'm going to let him attack in with the braggart and do his thing to get more damage and then just bounce it afterward.
Do I do this now? Yeah, we do it now. It's vaguely annoying, but at least he can't cast it again this turn. And I'm going to have a raven form for it. Which is nice. Interesting, interesting. No boast. Um, hmm. This doesn't do enough. I guess I could attack first. I cost... Four, five. Doesn't. No, that gives me enough to do that also. I could just set up the Fortel on both of these. I think I'm okay with that actually. That works out pretty well. We take five, but he's losing a creature. They can't replay this turn. Yeah, that worked out just fine. Okay. I think we're going to foretell that and then nuke his board. Yeah. I don't mind getting the scry here. Oh, yeah, we definitely needed that scry. That would have been pretty miserable otherwise. Unfortunately, we're one damage off of the Yeti. Probably gonna play the lifelinker here. Oh, different lifelinker, okay. So either way, if I have a single creature survive, then oh, that hurts. Okay, yeah, I'm just I'm just dead. We dead. Good game about it. <sighs> well, giants didn't get there. That's fine. Little bit slow. It's still fun to play. It's always fun having a furnace of wrath effect kind of want to build giants for standard because I love the idea of bone crushering. Even though technically I don't think stomp does double damage, I'd have to read more into the wording on that. Since stomp isn't the bone crusher itself dealing the damage, I don't believe it does double. That'd be really cool if it did. I mean, I'd gladly take that. Okay. Another passageway land. Glimpse, I think, is a really fun card. Another one. Oh, the squirrel. Clean match. 
Um, well, I mean, I just, I finished my sponsored sleepy prevention drink. Uh, unfortunately, I need to go and restock the old fridge. Oh, Valky. Okay, that's my first one of those. I need to restock the old fridge. I, I guess I do have some... Got some of that uh, Premier Protein uh, latte flavored. These are actually awesome. It's a protein shake that has caffeine in it and actually, like, tastes really good. And Costco just had them on sale, so... It's like, it's it's a win all across the board. It's definitely a win-win-win. Skull Raid. Oh, the art on that is creepy. Oh, we got a Klexi. Foreign Klex is so good. I still can't believe this card is in this set and that they decided to go that way. Yeah, yeah, G Fuel is good. Well, we didn't do so hot in that draft, but that's okay. There's always a next time. And I think that is going to do it for the night, because if I were to start another draft, I'd be on here another couple hours, and I eventually want to get to sleep. So otherwise, I'm going to be up all night staring at Doge, and that's, that's no good for anyone. But yeah, as per usual, my name's Brian. You can find me live at MinTG2020 every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, uh, switching things up. I have Monday at 7.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm going back to some retro gaming. Last week, we played Gunstar Heroes. I'm not sure what I'm going to play yet this Monday, but... It's probably going to be some arcade something good. Good night, Junior. I will talk to you later. Uh, Wednesdays, I'm starting up Ghost of Tsushima, playing that at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And then, as per usual, Friday is going to be 7.30. Uh, FNM, draft, whatever we're feeling like on Arena. You can find those live at Twitch, MinTG2020. Or the VODs I'll post the next day over on my YouTube at MinTG2020. Uh, as per usual, feel free to hit that like, follow, subscribe, whichever platform you are watching on. If you like what I'm doing, every little bit helps. And that will do it. I will see you guys next on Monday. Have a good weekend, all.